Hi babes, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all doing well. Today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to get this absolutely airbrush flawless finish to your skin. This is seriously a tutorial that everyone should watch because if you learn how to do these steps, your makeup will always look flawless. All right, let's get right into it, babes. First thing I want to mention, you guys can notice that my skin is by no means perfect right now. I have a lot of breakouts around my cheek area, around my chin area. Even still with these breakouts, I'm still going to show you how to make your skin look perfect. First product that I'm using is from Wishful. It is the Thirst Trap Juice. This is a serum. Prepping your skin is going to be so key for this look, you guys, because... You have to make sure your skin is hydrated and basically we're prepping the canvas. If we don't prep it properly, the makeup is not going to go on nicely. So try not to skip these steps. This serum from Wishful is so nice because it gives just so much hydration to the skin. On top of that, I'm using the Wishful Get Even Rose Oil. So I saw both of these products in one of my favorite favorite people on youtube i've mentioned him before his name is painted by spencer if you guys don't watch his videos you have to go watch and he used both of these products to prep the skin and it works like literally the makeup just goes on so nice after you will prep your skin with these two products and you guys know that i have oily skin but using an oil still totally worked for me all right, guys, this I'm so excited about. This is the brand new foundation from Clinique, the, the even better clinical serum foundation. If you follow me on Instagram, you know that I have literally been talking about this foundation for, I don't know, it seems like every day. It's so good. I don't want to say that this is my one of my all-time favorite foundations because I feel like I have to use it a little bit more to say that, but honestly, it's kind of amazing. It feels like skincare, even though it's makeup. It, I guess it may be because it's a serum. It has the most insane texture and it literally makes your skin look airbrushed. Absolutely flawless if you guys haven't tried this you have to check it out i'm going to put all of the shade names and everything in the description if you guys want to know what shades i use so when i got the new foundation from clinique i also got their new even better concealer this combination i, I can't even explain it to you guys like you guys are going to see the final result my skin looked unbelievable so one little tip i have for you guys that i've been doing with concealer lately that i've noticed has made a huge difference is I do a lot of layers now and I mentioned this before I saw makeup by Ariel do this in a masterclass where basically he applies the first layer he doesn't put concealer on both sides right away he puts he just works on one side first and then the other and that actually makes a big difference because then you're working that concealer in right away you're not letting it sit there for a while and it gets dry you're working it in while it's still wet and then you blend it into your skin and then you apply another layer and then you apply a third layer you basically keep applying until you feel like you have like maximum coverage and it never looks cakey at all it looks absolutely perfect actually it makes your under eye area look perfect next up it's time to set i am using a brand new powder from kosas new cloud set powder this is also kind of like a skincare product it has skincare ingredients in it i'm using a powder puff to really press it in this is the tati beauty puff this was just the final touch to give that total airbrush look to the skin this powder is really soft and silky. I love using it for the under eye area as well. And I basically just pressed this in everywhere I needed, make sure that I set the makeup and it just gave the most flawless finish. Okay, next up, I quickly filled in my brows with the Maybelline Precise Brow Pencil. And now I wanted to do a little bit of contour to the face. I'm using this Bare Minerals Bronzer. When you're doing contour for this look, you want it to look really natural. So I'm not going for a bronzer that's 
too dark it's this is definitely more of a lighter shade bronzer than i normally would use but i just really wanted this look to just look like a kind of a no makeup makeup look so i used a slightly lighter shade just to give a really really natural contour to the face i also contoured my nose you guys know i love doing this because it just gives a little bit more precision to my nose because i feel like my nose looks extra round lately i don't know why <laughs> now it's time to go in with highlight this is another product that i am obsessed with this is from smashbox i will list everything down below in the description for you guys i'm using a lot of new products in this video because honestly there's been some unbelievably good makeup recently really wanted to do a video all about complexion because i know that this is kind of the main thing people are focusing on right now maybe we're not doing as much glam but this is the perfect base makeup if you want your skin to look absolutely insane and this highlighter will help you do that it is the most gorgeous bright but it's such a silky texture so it just looks so smooth on the skin and i pretty much put this everywhere in all the key areas down the bridge of my nose underneath my brows a little bit of my chin top of my cheekbones when you have a highlighter that has a great texture like this you can use it everywhere and doesn't look too much okay i'm gonna step away from the skin for a second we're gonna do lips i am using this very natural lip liner from laura mercier to line my entire lip I really want this just to look like my natural lip color. I'm not trying to do anything too crazy here, but I really do like using a lip liner because it is a nice way to get definition to your lips without having to put a lot of lip color. On top of that liner, I'm using this liquid lipstick from the bomb cosmetics but i'm using this in a super light way so i'm just patting it in with my finger i'm applying a little bit in the center of my lip and then just gently patting it in with my finger so it's just like a flush of color to your lips and it still looks super natural okay for blush i love this blush combo palette from jue cosmetics it's so pretty the colors are gorgeous there's a nice different range mix of shades of colors i'm starting off with that gorgeous peach shade as my base applying that all over my cheek and when i'm applying the base shade i always like to go upwards towards my temple so for starting from the apples of the cheeks and working upwards towards the top of your ears towards your eyebrows just to get that really lifted look to your face and then for my pop color, I'm going in with that pinkier shade from the palette and applying that mainly on the apples of my cheeks. This kind of just gives a lot of dimension to your skin. I love to do this last little final touch to make the skin look literally airbrushed. I take a big fluffy brush that has no makeup on it at all and I just sweep it all over my skin just to blend and soften everything out. Last step, because we want this makeup to last all day, all night, wherever you're wearing it, I'm using the Makeup Forever Mist and Fix Spray. This is my favorite, favorite setting spray. It literally holds your makeup perfectly and it gives that really nice, beautiful, dewy look to your skin. That is it, babes. Those are all my little tips and tricks on how to get seriously airbrushed looking skin. If you guys end up trying out this tutorial, let me know. Let me know how it works out in the comments. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you add me on Instagram at Iman and on TikTok at Iman Makeup. And I will see you guys next week for a brand new video.